Hi, welcome back to DIY Astro. Just an update on the old observatory build. If you're new to this and you've not seen any of this, what I'm doing is I'm upcycling an old 8x6 shed. The, the original shed had an apex roof, so I've converted that into a pent roof, which is gonna be a little bit lighter. And it's got some wheels on it. I'm from a company called FH Brundle in the UK, and I've got the rails that match them here. So all that will be sitting on top, top of here, and there'll be rails coming across, coming all the way over here, about seven foot away from the main shed, and that will be all reinforced so the roof can roll off here, all the way across there, and it just reveals the sky. So I had to replace quite a lot of this shed. You can see all this lighter wood, that's all featherboard panels that have been replaced and I've had to sort of reinforce the upright stud work. I've weather sealed all the floor with um, cuprinol to protect it from rotting. I've done about three layers on the floor and all the subframes so it should be good for lots of years. This pier is just basically full of concrete and rebar going into the ground, into another block of concrete. It's completely separate from, from the floor. So there'll be no vibrations from the floor transferred to the pier at all. The, the two separate entities completely. So I could jump, jump up and down in here and it wouldn't affect anything to do with the, the telescope mount or the pier when it's done. All I'm doing now is I'm just bracing it all the way around with metal brackets and timber putting some cross bracing in so it doesn't twist. So I'm going all the way around all the walls. I'm gonna be putting cross bracing in like over there on these walls. Job's done then. It's just a case of sort of like giving it a lick of paint. Putting some rubber floor down, painting the inside black. I decided to keep the windows and just reinforce them and reseal them just to let lighting light in in the daytime. I mean, I'm not really worried about people looking in because I've got gardens all around me so I'm not really overlooked here which is quite lucky. So that's an update and I'll uh, catch you guys later on the next one.